you having self-respect is nothing wrong. But when your self-respect demands the other person should be disrespected and then you feel respected, wanted, recognized, now it has become something that is perverted, something that is rotten. Ahadya does not have anything. If you are going to stand in front of a rock and call some bad names, it doesn't make any difference. If you are going to stand in front of a rock and admire what a beautiful rock it is, <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to the rock. Totally. There are no responses. There is no emotion. And this has become, this is the state of Ahalya because the person for whom she has descended down now has abandoned her. Somewhere or the other she knows it is my fault too. It is not a f his just fault. And according to Gautama, if you are really going to think how what makes Gautama so cruel to his own beloved wife, who for so many years now has been just not loyal but has, has followed him in all, all the, uh, what do they say, sunny days and the uh, rainy days. Hmm? Why are you becoming so cruel? Let us not forget the basic philosophy the principle which drives Gautama is the, the, the principle of tapasya. Otherwise, what, why would he be a rishi? What is it that makes him a rishi if there is no tapasya over there? Person, 